turn a simple item that's bread and butter into a big money bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a plop. Sell for a profit, not a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this Share Your Best August Bolo in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody to share their big money bolos. So let's get started here with the first one. Wow. I got this Gans Kitty Cat at a thrift store with several plush. Price was 32 cents. I couldn't find any other listings that had this. I ran an auction at $79.94, but did not get a sale. So I listed it at that price, sold within a couple weeks for my asking price, and buyer paid shipping. I got a sweet note from the buyer that said she had this as a child and was so excited to find this and had been looking for one for a long time. It's a 1998 Baby Gans Kitty Cat Lovey Stuffed Plush Mint Green Soft Rare Kitten. I love to collect books from yard sales and thrift stores, and when I get enough of a certain kind, I will lot them together. I sold this set of 64 Berenstein Bears. Uh, 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 uh. I always say Berenstein. It's actually Berenstain. Did you know that? It's not Berenstein. It's Berenstain. Did you know that? Just asking. Asking for a friend. Just kidding. Um, so anyway, they sold 64 of these books for $119.94 and buyer paid shipping. Uh, they had $15 in all of them. Took about six months to sell. And this is what it looks like. So yes, lotting up books can definitely turn a simple item that's bread and butter into a big money bolo. Save this from being thrown away after a closet clean out. Elderly relative. It's a 1964 Spider-Man tin toy, mint condition and works perfectly. In the original box, box had some minor wear on corners. Did a week-long auction with starting bid of $499 and sold it for $643 plus shipping. Wow. 1968 Spider-Man Mechanical Tin Toy Marvel Superhero. Greetings. I bought a tub full of Teddy Ruxpin clothes, cassette tapes, two Teddy Ruxpin dolls off Marketplace for $60. The surprise of the lot was the connector cord cable that sold for a best offer of 65. Yes, absolutely. I had the talking mother goose that connects to the little duck, the cord. I want to say I sold the cord for like 80 bucks if I remember correctly. It was a little while ago. I've talked about it in a past video, but yes, that connector cord, sell it separate, sell it separate. I mean, I know you're thinking I've got this and then I have this and they connect together. I could sell it all as a lot but you're probably going to make more money if you part it out. So it's up to you, but that connector cord, no joke, big money. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Stellar Seller Sam. Bolo Buddies members are members uh, or people that join Bolo Buddies membership at level two or higher to get a pop-up of their channel and a link down in the description. Bolo Buddies membership is for perks. Anybody can share in this video, okay? So that that's free. If you want the perks, it's uh, level two and up. More information down below in my link tree link. So Stellar Seller Sam, she's awesome. Uh, great channel. She is so sweet and she has awesome editing skills and she is a Volo finder. I paid $6 for these at the Goodwill. They looked fancy. Got an offer of 140. Jeffrey West, never heard of that. Shoes are high dollar apparently. Keep an eye out for them. That's what they look like. They do look fancy. They do look fancy. Here's another one from Stellar Seller Sam. This wasn't a big money bolo, but it surprised me when I checked comps and saw how in demand these are. Basically, these are buttons that you can train your animals to step on to help communicate what you want. Wow. Hmm. Never heard of that. Got from the bins for a dollar. Sold in less than a day for 45. The more buttons you have equals more money. Fluent Pet Dog Interactive Talk Training Kit. Five buttons, two hex tiles, instructions. I have never heard of such a thing. I'm still confused about what it does. I know these vintage coach purchase 
purses are known as a bolo. So it still shocks me to find them. This one had significant damage to turn the lock. Still sold for great money, paid five at the Goodwill and accepted an offer of 120. Yeah, so they have a uh, turn lock. It turns, yeah, and it's crossbody. It's vintage. Yeah, those vintage coach. I used to have. I used to wear those. I loved them. I loved them. Vintage Diadora Borg tennis shoes. Say what? Never heard of that brand. Dia Borg Diadora 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 D I D O R A Borg. From the 80s. Ah, they're vintage. Purchased at a local outreach thrift store for three and sold on auction for $304.99. I better get to know that brand. Wowza. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Leo's Treasures. Purchased this at the Goodwill Bins for $2. This electric, I'm sorry, electronic barking watchdog was in the original box and did not look like it had been used much. It was in great working condition. I took a best offer of 50 in the buyer paid shipping. Safety Technology International Rex Plus Electronic Watchdog Barking. So do you think this is like something that barks? Like, so if somebody alerts it, it sets off a barking sound so people think you have a dog in your house? Huh, I could be wrong. I don't know. This one comes from Leo's Treasures also. I found the vintage 1980s Fisher Price Puffalump dog at the Goodwill Benz. It was very dirty and but cleaned up spotless. It cost 50 cents. I sold it in my Etsy shop for full asking price of 55.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Gotta love it. Yes, Puffalump's Bolo. Here's another one from Leo's Treasures. I found this new sealed deck of vintage 1981 tarot cards on a shelf in the basement of an estate sale. I normally go to the basement first. I paid a dollar for it. It sold in my Etsy shop for full asking price of 110 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Bought this adorable owl at a thrift store. By the way, I love owls. Did I tell you guys about my earrings? Ah, I don't know if I put them in this video or not. Um, I have new merch, you guys, and they are in my whatnot shop. You can get them on Whatnot. They're $5 each. I am Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, you can use the link below and get $15 to shop. That's my referral link. So you can join Whatnot. And if you have never joined before, you're going to get $15. And you can go and get these earrings free. So we've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then just the normal ones that you can wear every day of the year. So $5 each over on Whatnot in my Buy It Now section. So check it out. And I'd love for you guys to come to one of my live shows and hang out. Don't feel any pressure to buy anything. Just come hang out. It's super fun. And um, I would love to see you there. If you decide to buy the earrings during a live show while I'm live, you will get discounted shipping on um, additional items purchased, okay? So I hope to see you at a show. And be sure if you come to a show that you say, hey, I'm from your YouTube channel, okay? Thank you guys. And thank you to everybody that has come over to Whatnot and supported me by watching or buying something. You guys are awesome. I just am overwhelmed with the support. So I appreciate you all so much. Okay, so let's talk about this owl. I got totally sidetracked. Bought this adorable owl at a thrift store for $4. I listed it on eBay as an auction for $275 and someone hit buy it now for $360. My biggest sale yet. Vintage MCM hand carved soapstone owl figurine by Glenn Hearth or Heath. Glenn Heath. And it says rare. Must be if it sold for that. Got this at a yard sale, paid $3, and sold it for full asking price of $84.99, plus shipping. Sold in one day. Gotta love a fast sale. P.S. I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, I think I heard about Norelco razors being a bolo from one of your videos. New Norelco Phillips razor, shaver rechargeable, and this is what it looks like. My first post here. Got these Oswald plush off the side of the road on bulk trash day. So they were free. They are from old Nick Jr. show. Individually, the weenie dog sells for 80 to 120 and the octopus up to 200. I sold my set of both for 250. 
for full asking price. Took a month to sell. The sell-through rate is great regardless of condition, so always pick these up if you see them. And this is what it looks like. Wow, they're by Gund, and they're from 2002, Nick Jr. Paid $6 at a thrift store, sold in about two weeks for 81, got great feedback. Two Jean Mayo or Mayo mid-century vintage 1960s Harlequin prints, art, decor, mod, big eye. So it looks like they're, um, what do you call them? paintings or things you hang on the wall maybe I think I'm not sure I bought this at a local yard sale for a dollar it sold for a best offer of two hundred and ninety eight dollars and thirty four cents about after about two months it was not in the best condition vintage Carhartt jacket uh, coat Aztec Santa Fe Detroit USA Union made teal and black bam Found this at the Goodwill for $2.49. When I first looked at it, I thought, that looks weird and vintage. Well, those two things usually add up to a good profit. I looked it up and comps were between 50 and 100. I initially listed it on eBay for 70 and had an offer within 24 hours of 50. I countered it 60, but no luck. The very next day, I cross-posted to Mercari and sold it for $70 with free shipping in six hours. Oh, in case you are in some sort of electrical, oh, wait, in case you are wondering, this is some sort of electrical facial toner. Thanks for all your hard work and great videos. So it's something you put on your face to tone it up, tone it up, friends, and it's vintage. So, I mean, maybe it works. I don't know. Who, who, who would try it? Let me know. Uh, Mercari. If you're not selling on Mercari, there's a link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with my link. It's a referral link. And $20 when you uh, sell $100 worth of stuff. Mercari is great, especially for plush and toys. I tell you guys that all the time. And um, for those of you selling on Mercari, let me know how are your Mercari sales? How are you doing over there? And just drop that down in the comments. And I also like to buy on Mercari. So even if you don't want to sell on Mercari, you might want to buy on Mercari because they it's a fun place to buy. It's super easy, super easy. But it's great for items that are flooded on eBay for sure. I went to a church rummage sale. It was fill a bag for $2. I filled two and bought home 24 items. Average cost 17 cents. It took a lot of research on my end and I didn't find anything on this particular piece. Listed high at 125. 12 days later, I accepted an offer of $100 plus shipping. Yes, $0.17 cents into $100. My personal best so far. Thank you, Courtney, and everyone else for sharing. I have learned so much. It is a N Nils Thorson Royal Copenhagen Vase Fajance Denmark Baca Fish. <laughs> that's what it says. I'm telling you, that's what it says. Read it right there. That's what it says. I may not have said it right, but that's what it says. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member AEG's Estate Treasures, and this is what her eBay store looks like. I purchased this Bose remote control at a yard sale for a dollar. It sold for the full asking price of $82.50 in less than a week with free shipping. It's a pleasure being a part of the Bolo Buddy family. Yes, and AEG's um, Treasures, Estate Treasures, has a bunch of, uh, I don't know how many are left, but she created a bunch of reseller lots in her eBay store. So I will link her down below. Definitely go check it out. There may be something you want to buy. I even said to her, I'm like, are these prices for real with free shipping? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, wow. So check it out. And nothing else. If she doesn't have any left, click on that heart and you'll get notifications when she lists new items. And I know that she is trying to cater for two resellers in her eBay store. So check that out. Bought this Polly Pocket Cinderella pumpkin coach on Whatnot for $10. It was missing the Cinderella and prints, so I didn't list it at the high end of comps and disclosed the missing pieces. It sold in four days for full asking price of $54.99 and buyer paid shipping. Yes, you guys, you can source on Whatnot. Head on over to Whatnot. Go down there, grab that $15. Grab some earrings, find something to resell, and then come share it with me the bolo that you got on whatnot and flipped it for. 
Bought for $5, sold within 24 hours of listing. Cocker Spaniel Danbury Mint Christmas Tree Retired Missing Star. Missing Star and sold for $500. Yes. I actually have sold the ones with the birds on them and I have one left. So um, there was, I had a snowman, a tree and a reef and they had birds and they're incredible. And I have one still listed. I love this one. Bought from the Salvation Army thrift store for $3.99. Sold in less than 24 hours on Mercari for full asking price of $399. Buy, buyer also paid shipping. Five-star rating with positive feedback. Nick Jr. Oswald, the Octopus Musical Backpack. We just talked about the plush being big money. This is a backpack. So look out for Nick Jr. Oswald. It is a bolo. The Kitchy Canson. This is her eBay store. She's a Bolo Buddies member. Found this unique chalkware statue at an antique store and gave $12.50 for it. I felt like it had to be Russian and it immediately gave me that buy me, I'm worth good money vibe. Did my usual research but never found anything like it. So listed for 80 and within two weeks I got an offer of 65 which I was glad to accept. And this is what it looks like. Here's another one from the Kitchy Canson. Bought an auction lot of Tupperware items at my local auction house. Gave around a dollar for each piece. And this microwave pressure cooker sold for full asking price of 40 within six months. Happy hunting. It's Tupperware. You know who says to sell Tupperware, right? Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And she has a video that talks all about Tupperware to be on the lookout for. So definitely check that out. Bought an auction lot of primitive kitchen utensils and small farm tools for next to nothing, probably less than a quarter each. These ice block tongs sold for full asking price of 24 within days of being listed. Primitives do very well for me. And this is what it looks like. And this is the kitschy can. Oh, I was saying it wrong. It's not Kansen. It's Kansen. The kitschy Kansen. All right, we're going to do one more here. This was a nice surprise. I purchased a table full of nutcrackers, about 20 at a yard sale for 15. After a little research, I sold this guy on a best offer pretty quick for $191. I have some more listed and more to go. Thanks, Courtney, for keeping me motivated with your videos. Thank you for watching. And yes, I, I just appreciate you watching and everybody else. Thank you so much. I'm glad, it, I'm glad you find it motivating. You guys turn all my videos while you list. You learn and you're making money and you're getting stuff done. It's a Steinbach um, nutcracker, guys. And this is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment down below. Go grab you some Bolo Buddies merch over on my whatnot. And thanks for watching.